And that was Snow Patrol. Good morning. You are listening to Faces for Radio with James Evans, Miles Poole, and Alex Stratton Lake. This is our fifth final and most festive show of the term. We have got an absolutely fantastic show for you guys. Miles. <laughs> <laughs> wow, how am I going to get a better one? No. <laughs> That's it's only it. uphill from That's here, guys. It blown right there. It's only uphill from here. We've got some great features. We've got James's festive cookery corner. We've got a great would you rather. We've got overplayed song of the week. We've got a series of Christmas songs, so don't get your hopes up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and to start us off, I have perhaps the most depressing Christmas song of them all. It's Band Aid. It's Christmas time. Band-Aid, Do They Know It's Christmas, a very cheery song. <laughs> you did get us started. Uh, you can't help but sing along, though. No, and, and we were. For any live listeners, <laughs> you, you have been that. blessed. Yeah, that's special. It is Christmas time, guys. Yeah. And Christmas is a time of giving, and it's a time of presents. So let's talk about that live on air. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. disappointing yeah. presents. James, hit me. Um, most years I get a printer. You get a printer. <laughs> Most <laughs> years I get a printer. My printers tend to break a lot. Wow. Um, it's quite an expensive <laughs> present, so it, it is sort of a main one. I, I can understand people getting, like, I don't know, boxes or socks every year. They're getting a printer <laughs> every, every year. Every year. Seem like and uh, some inkjet cartridges so it doesn't run out across oh, the year. That's loving. That, uh, that is incredibly loving. I, is loving. I think one of my most disappointing presents. I wasn't disappointed when I got it. Sure. Um, it was a bicycle. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, because I, I always wanted to ride a bicycle. Yeah. I, I struggled as a child. Right. I never really got off stabilizers. <laughs> and then one time, I just thought, you know, I really want to, I really want to learn to ride a bike. Sure. Yeah. So, I asked for a bicycle for Christmas. That was about five years ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I still can't ride that bicycle, so I think it's a wasted present, <laughs> to say the least. Is it that no one's bothered teaching you, or...? No, people have te- taught me. <laughs> tried to I've know tried and, f- and failed, so it's not that they haven't been bothered, but I think they've given up. And fair enough, to be honest. After, I think after a couple of years, when you're <laughs> teaching your teenage son, you think... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not for you. It's not for you. <laughs> Down the part of all the other like nine year olds <laughs> yeah. on their sort of Barbie and Action Man theme bikes as you just trying well, to get to grips with something. I thought, you know, I'll come back from uni over the summer yeah. holidays. It's a longer summer holiday than normal because you know, yeah. we're not we're barely at uni, are we? <laughs> yeah. Basically so a thought, holiday here. Yeah. <laughs> basically. Yeah. So I thought I'd I'd get it I'll get it back out. It was a bit rusty, punctured tire, but you know, no worries. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I'll try it out. And um, I was sort of riding along to the park or something, and I fell into the road. I was on the Ooh. I was on the wrong lane, so cars were coming towards oh, me. Oh, Shoot! Yeah, very scary. And she thought, oh, right, that's it. That's it. It's staying behind the shed. <laughs> that's <laughs> where it lives now. Yeah. <laughs> if any of our listeners have had any awful presents, uh, <laughs> listeners do text in. Yep, you can text in on 075 071 877 or you can email in at studio at radio.warwick.ac.uk. So Miles, have, have um, you had any terrible presents? I, as a child, I always found it, um, I guess, slightly disappointing when you got a useful present. A useful present. When you didn't present. get, like, that useless toy that you wanted, yeah. but you get socks or... Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, I know someone who was actually given tissues once <laughs> <laughs> for Christmas. <laughs> so that, if that's not disappointing, I don't know what is. That's yeah. tragic. <laughs> I mean, although, at least if she was, if she started crying about getting such a terrible <laughs> yeah. present, then Fun- they'd come and use. Functional, aren't they? Yeah, exactly. A utilitarian exactly. thing. Um, no, I don't. Well, I mean, if the listeners do have a, a present more disappointing than some tissues, we'll give them a box of tissues. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's win-win, listeners. Text in, text in. Please text in. Okay, right, I think it's time for uh, our next song. Song, song? Song. 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 <laughs> yeah. Sorry, listeners. Okay, this is uh, Ed Sheeran with Lego House. Love this song. These things I've done, I will love you better now. 
That was Ed Sheeran with Lego House. Lovely song. Good song. <laughs> Stop <laughs> doing it. Celebrate <laughs> the end of that song. <laughs> Festive tune, wasn't it? It was. <coughs> Cheery. Um, Christmas. That's... <laughs> That's something to do with festivity, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> what, do, what, do we, time? what do we feel about Christmas, guys? Um, as um, atmospheric as it is, yep. it's, it's a lot of hassle, isn't it? It is a lot of hassle. It's just presents and seeing relatives that you don't really want to see. <laughs> Hopefully none of them will ever listen to this show. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. But uh, yeah, it is just... Oh. And also, now that we're living away from home, we've essentially got two Christmases, haven't we? Yeah. We've actually got to prepare a Christmas meal in our house yeah, now. Sure, yeah. yeah. Oh, so I mean, double the workload. I mean, we actually had our Christmas meal yesterday, yeah. and I did no work towards it. But, you know, still, <laughs> there still, was the possibility that I'd have you. to, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I know that, because you were at the pub with me <laughs> before the Christmas meal. Speaking of the pub, can I, can I do a rant about the coat that I bought? It is rant week. Go on. It, oh, go, right, listeners. Word of warning from James. <laughs> Never ever, ever order a Coke and forget to say no ice because yesterday, oh my God, it was catastrophic. The amount of ice I had in that glass was insane. <laughs> it was what? It was two, maybe two thirds of drink, guys? Yeah. Two thirds of drink. I mean, we, weren't, we, we weren't planning the show there. We, that, no one, we weren't with you. No, you were. No, you, you, no, you, no, you, you've confused yourself. <laughs> I, I may as well have said, uh, actually, no, don't give me a large coat. Give me a small one in a large glass, but uh, just top the rest up with ice and charge me for a large one. It was, it was horrible. <laughs> this isn't to do with Christmas at all. I don't know how we've strayed onto this topic. Put the photo up to the webcam. Show them. No, Show them. no I'm not putting the photo up to the webcam. That's, that's ridiculous. <laughs> that's absurd. Uh, shall, we, uh, shall we read out some emails we got in? We've got some emails in. We've got some emails in. Um, this one from Anonymous, um, but it just says, if you play the Pogues, I will cry. Oh, I think. That's well, nice. Yeah. It's good enough reason to play the Pogues then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping it's They're Crying With Joy, because it's a great yeah, song. Beautiful great song. song. Beautiful song. And we've got a text in from Laura. Yep. It says, I was given a children's illustrated dictionary once at an age where it might have been considered an insult. Maybe it was. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. That That's is brilliant. brilliant. That Classic is interfamily banter there. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. We've got Would You Rather for this week? Yeah. So I we think it's time to bring in the jingle. Bring in the jingle, guys. Would you? Would you? Would you? Rather? Beautiful. Nice Absolutely answer. beautiful. Right, so, this, uh, would you rather? <laughs> would you rather this week? Is a very good one. Christmas, kind of festive, I guess. Yeah. Um, would you rather have your dream job as yeah, a sure. toy tester for Santa? Sounds good. Sounds good. Um, but yeah. be paid a pittance. Not so good. Not so good. There's always, there's always a but. There's, there's always, always a but. A on, 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 always a catch. Yeah, there's yeah. always a catch. Or um, spend nine till five in a padded cell. No. Like no stimulation, no stimulation, um, and be paid a lot. Paid a lot, like like a million, a pounds, million a year. pounds a year. Jeez. Okay, so listeners, would you rather be <laughs> a millionaire but spend nine till five every day in a padded cell with no stimulation, or would you rather have your dream job as Santa, Santa Claus's elf toy, toy tester, <laughs> toy tester <laughs> but be paid a pittance? Please uh, text in on 075-071-87777 or you can email in at studio at radio.warwick.ac.uk. Okay, guys, what do we think? Mm, I, I think I'd take the toy testing job. I, I just feel like living a fulfilling life doesn't, doesn't have to involve some sort of mon monetary compensation. Mm. You know? I think it does. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're wrong there. Okay, and so also, if you're a millionaire, you can just buy all the toys that you would be previously testing. Yeah, but you're never going to mm. be able to use them because you're nine till five in that padded cell. You're not allowed anything else in there. there. Yeah, but there's there's more hours to the day than just nine till five, isn't mm. there? You could That's what I are there though. <laughs> <laughs> could you? I know it's my question, but could you <laughs> um, make? Could you stay up all night and sleep while you're in the cell? That'd be a sort of a loophole, there, isn't it? I don't think you can sleep. I mean, because the nine till five is your job, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah being in the padded cell is your job. You've got to, mm. you've got to do it well. Yeah, you've got to be up and about. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> yeah. I, 
It's a difficult one. That's why we've opened it up to the listeners. The That's listeners will listeners listeners decide. Say. Yep, so please text in or email in. I think if you've got a million pounds, can't you just like pay off Santa to get you out of the padded cell? No, no. <laughs> it's a thought experiment, Alec. There's no ifs and buts. There's no ifs uh, and buts. Text I'm... in with your responses. Oh, well, actually, I mean, we've got we've got an email. Well, already? I know. Oh, I wow. Know. On From Facebook Laura. Radio. Again, I'm sure it's a different Laura. I'm sure it's a different we Laura. We have a lot of listeners. <laughs> <laughs> um, she says, I'll take the money. Think of how mental you could go at the weekends. Oh, that's true. Uh, that's yeah. weekends. I forgot about yeah. this. That's crazy. I think... Um, we didn't actually specify if you got weekends off. Yeah. Mm. That's, yeah, that's pretty sorry, get, I'm sorry, Laura. six Laura, weeks but... paid holiday in your padded <laughs> cell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But you have to take it in an asylum. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so please text in or email in, um, listeners. I think it's time for our next song. This is uh, Block Party, Hunting for Witches. I'd just like to say that song, Hunting for Witches, was dedicated to Jambrew, because it's his birthday today. Happy oh, birthday, Jambrew. Happy birthday, Jam. Congratulations. I'm having a birthday. <laughs> um, <laughs> he does it every year. It's brilliant. It is absolutely oh, brilliant. Uh, it, it's amazing. Um, I think it's time no. for the feature no. which had me in the stitches. <laughs> no. I was essentially rolling around on the floor oh. while uh, James was doing this. I'm it's, looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to I'm it as well. I hope it. you are. I think uh, it's well. Listeners back at home. I it's think a, it's time. It's a festive special. Festive special of James's, uh, James's <laughs> Cookery Corner. Hello and welcome back to James's Cookery Corner, the Christmas special. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to use your leftover turkey in a variety of amazing ways. Starting with the turkey salad. Step one, buy a salad from Tesco. Step two, insert scraps to turkey. Stir it up and you've got a turkey salad. The next dish I'm going to be talking about is a turkey marmite pasta. Yes, you heard it's a turkey marmite pasta. You get the standard marmite pasta recipe that I used last week. Add in turkey, stir it up, and you've got a turkey marmite pasta. The third recipe is going to be turkey on toast. Or if you're going to go absolutely mental, you're going to make a tur- turkey toasted sandwich. Oh my God, I can't stand how much turkey there is in this festive special of James's cookery corner. Turkey! Cooking! <laughs> that was it! Thank you. Oh, round of applause. I think I we should do that. <laughs> I think we Happy Christmas, we got, everyone! We got this is our whole budget. I think we've deafened people across uh, the country. I just, I'm sorry, I just get into it and I can't. Across the country? I can't. Like, across <laughs> across small, the Midlands. Small pockets of the country. <laughs> very small pocket, pockets and very few. <laughs> Uh, actually, we got a very positive review this week. Oh, um, yes? From a member yeah. of the YouTube community. Yeah. Uh, his name Rebo? Is that it? Some, probably with some numbers right? after it. Yeah. Totally. Um, and he said, not terrible. That's our first written review. And I, think that, I think that is what we were aiming for with this show. <laughs> and we've achieved our goal. I think next term, maybe we could yeah. aim for not bad. Not bad? Yeah. That would be, yeah. that'd be quite... That'd be quite yeah. Uh, yeah. Quite yeah. an achievement for yeah. us, I think. Yeah. Let's yeah. Like build it up. And then, yeah. <laughs> then hopefully by the end it'll be not good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, alright. Well, we've got some uh, more text and emails in. About lovely, our jubbly, rather, lovely, jubbly. About our would you rather. So, this is from Anonymous. Remember, guys, please text or email in your names because I will say anonymous wrong on the radio. It's very embarrassing. It's not just that embarrassing could... to be listening to us, guys. It's really we not. could give them just generic names. Like this is from. Okay. Brian. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to give this guy a name or girl. Yep. Sorry. Um, no, it's going to be a guy. It's James. Right. Um, Why have you used the name of one of the presenters? <laughs> just, You're just confusing, confusing, confusing the audience. Okay. Okay. Luke. That's All right. There we go. Okay. Luke's texting. Yep. Um, I would be the toy tester. It sounds like a pretty awesome job, and also I feel that Father Christmas would be the kind of boss who would hand out amazing. <laughs> I th- oh, I, I thought we had why two. Why did you pause I thought, yeah. Yeah. I thought we had two texts, but it goes <laughs> we, over. We, <laughs> or sorry, the, the computers cut the message in in twine. Um, <laughs> I just thought you paused in order to censor something. <laughs> Father effect. Christmas would hand out amazing. No, not reading that. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Christmas bonuses, even if the wages were measly. Mm. Oh, oh there is a name, there is a name. 
and there's a name. It's from Poppy. So that wasn't Luke at all. <laughs> oh dear. That, that is embarrassing. Yeah. Apologies to Poppy for that. <laughs> Apologies. But if you want to be called Luke from <laughs> here on after, that's fine. It's by a more us. Christmassy name than Poppy, isn't it? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Poppy's all about, you know, sort of November and Luke, Luke, Martin, Luke and John. <laughs> Martin, one of them? Well, are we all adopting <laughs> Christmas <laughs> names over the festive season? Let's call her Well, Noel. I've already got one, so you or two just need to Saint Nick. get going. Uh, I'm James. We could give them festive names if they text in. Okay, okay. James. I'll be Jesus. <laughs> uh, hang on a minute. <laughs> hang on a minute. I'll be That's not fair. elf number four. <laughs> number four. I was a sheep in one of my nativity plays. No, uh, uh, actually, my best role in the nativity plays was uh, as Angel Gabriel. Oh, that's quite impressive, yeah. role, actually. Yeah. That's um, I mean, it's a table. For but there, there were complaints that were made about my role as Angel did Gabriel. Did you have a wardrobe malfunction? Uh, yeah, I did actually, <laughs> but not not <laughs> in a, a weird way. Well, uh, basically, I've been made these sort of uh, fluorescent wings. Uh, yeah. If you can imagine such a thing, yeah. sort of reflective wings, and of course there's a lot of stage lights on us, mm -hmm. so they were, you know, shining. You know, like how you shine a watch against the wall, oh, and you've got yes. that horrible glint that you can yes. get into people's eyes. Well, I was doing that with my wings, and I was, I was trying to get it in sort of people's eyes uh, <laughs> with the wings, and many complaints were lodged, and there was basically <laughs> some sort of informal <laughs> inquiry <laughs> that followed after I how damaged old, someone's eyesight. How old were you? Uh, uh, Ten, maybe? You're evil. Yeah, I was an evil yeah. child. Government had to bring in a quango. To, uh, <laughs> yeah, to regulate the use of angel wings <laughs> in school nativity plays. Oh, no wonder I was bullied, is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we didn't realise you were being so vindictive. If yeah. we, if, I thought you were just a I felt sorry innocent child. Actually, until now. Yeah, well, there you go. I bought it all on myself. Yeah, you did. That's you what did. the psychologist said as well. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> we were trying to go along with our festive theme. We were trying to find the funny festive news story. We almost succeeded. <laughs> yeah, we almost it's to do with succeeded. Snow. It's to do with snow, which is festive enough. So, do you want to explain the, uh, the uh, festive news story uh, to, yeah. our, to our yeah. listeners? Um, I read, I was on the news, yes, reading the news yesterday, and I read a story about um, a group of Russian scientists are trying yeah. to clone a mammoth from a thigh bone that they found wow. somewhere yeah. in Siberia, I think. Impressive. So they're trying to bring mammoths back. That'd be pretty, yeah. Yeah. pretty good, wouldn't it? Why? <laughs> <laughs> because they're furry. <laughs> they're like elephants, but furry. Are they also incredibly dangerous? Yeah. yeah. That's, that's the technicality. Yeah, I wouldn't worry. I wouldn't worry about it. We've seen Jurassic it. Park. It all, it all ends well. It, well. <laughs> <laughs> I, it doesn't sound like a great idea to me. In fact, um, the news story, I, I mean, I was skimming through it then, and it started off by talking about Jurassic Park, which I don't think is going to put <laughs> the whole project in, in a particularly good light. Good light no. no. Um, what I'm wondering, how certain are they that it's a mammoth bone that they've found? <laughs> it's like a T-Rex or something. <laughs> Let's clone a mammoth. Oh, wait. Oh, right, oh, 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 shit. Well, oh, 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 shit. Oh, shit. Oh, It appears a T-Rex has formed. Well, this has think, gone wrong. I don't think while cloning it, though, and you see this T-Rex grow, they're not just going to be suddenly surprised when a fully formed <laughs> T-Rex comes first. They're oh, it's, it's probably a mammoth <laughs> just developing. Because we've got no idea what they look like when they're developing. Because they, for all we know, they look like T-Rexes. <laughs> yeah, when I was reading it, they were saying they um, needed a surrogate mother the right size so they right. think um, a, they'd use a cow um, right okay they'll use that a cow mammoths <laughs> <laughs> aren't the same size mammoth. as cows <laughs> but, I've played um, video games and woolly mammoths are a lot bigger <laughs> than cows <laughs> I love it how uh, your real world experience is based on video games yeah. <laughs> hang on a sec well to be fair the news story is trying to justify the story by bringing in Jurassic Park. <laughs> As so a I, think, I think my reference to video games is a good I'd, 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 I'd like to know, because obviously he's had to do a lot of research before this uh, project's got the uh, green light. I wonder if his citations have included the films of <laughs> Steven Spielberg. I think we've got, uh, we've got a great text in. Oh, have we? Yep. Uh, awesome. From Luke. Everyone's called Luke now. Um, he says, I think you've already established that video games are a suitable substitute for real life. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I think that's fair enough. <laughs> we can't reminisce yet. We've got, we've got to wait for the appropriate time to reminisce. Oh, yeah, no, we, we've we're got to not keep on, to the schedule. Yeah, we've got to keep to the schedule. And I want to make some joke about <laughs> Luke and <laughs> using the force, <laughs> which uh, is probably testament to the uh, sort of. 
veiled insult he's just made about our nerdiness. <laughs> <laughs> because that is the first thing that comes to my mind when I think of the word loop. And I like how you don't just sort of, out of the blue, come out with a joke. You like to <laughs> warn <laughs> everyone <laughs> first. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to come out with a nerdy joke. Um, so Get ready. Hold on to your seats. <laughs> this is going to be a thrill ride. Uh, I'm still thinking, so you're going to have to come up with some sort of filler for the time being whilst um, I come up with but, it. No, I Alex, <laughs> Alex <laughs> microphone mic. is just... <laughs> I don't know how to explain this, but the, the sort of head of the microphone just fell off. Oh. And we're back. And we're back on <laughs> the okay. radio. Um, no, as I was saying before, I'd love to see a uh, cow give birth to a little tiny T-Rex. It'd be entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> is this a life ambition? Is this on your bucket list? No, if, they, if, they, if they're wrong about the bone, and they put the, mam- the mammoth, in inverted commas, um, yeah. inside the cow to give birth to the mammoth, yeah. and then it's actually a T-Rex, that should be on YouTube. Well, <laughs> well, I think the mammoth should be on YouTube as well. That's true. Yeah. yeah. But uh, what if it's something completely different? Uh, what if it's uh, a an cat? Animal? What if it's uh, another mythical animal? Because mammoths pretty mythical, aren't they? What if it's a troll? <laughs> <laughs> well, what if this wh- whole story is is a, about a troll? <laughs> <laughs> so, you're saying maybe the Russian scientists are trolling us? Yeah, yeah uh, they could be. Oh, could be. Bit of oh. Dumb. Use the force, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all I've got, listeners. That's all I've got. I'm running on empty. Hey! Okay. I think it's time for our next song, guys. What is our next song, Alex? Um, uh, keeping up with the Christmas spirit. We are keeping up with the Christmas spirit. This is probably the best Christmas song there is. Oh, it's uh, Wizard. Really? I, I wish you happy about this. I wish it could be Christmas every day. Oh, how I do. How I do. <laughs> That was Wizard. I wish it could be Christmas every day. Do you, though? Um, not really. No. No. <laughs> That'd be awful. I remember being a young lad looking forward to Christmas year on year. Yeah. And that magic seems to have faded year mm. on year. Mm. Mm. I also remember visiting Santa's Grotto, which was for some reason located in a garden centre. They always are. <laughs> Any- Why is that? <laughs> Anyone else been to a Santa's yeah. Grotto garden centre? Um, Santa's grottos were always a lot better when I was younger. They yeah. seem to have gone downhill a bit. Really. Yeah. I'm sorry, you still go to them? <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. no, I worked in the garden centre. <laughs> oh, right, I see. Were you, there we oh, go. Were you, you ever given, given the opportunity to be Actually, Santa Claus? Um, we were, we were um, asked to be his elves, but I wasn't because I couldn't be bothered. <laughs> so I just stayed <laughs> That is quite an anecdote you've got there, Mark. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that will beguile people at dinner parties for <laughs> generations to come. But, but we did spend a whole day wearing Christmas hats and blowing up balloons. Oh, so fantastic. I, I can't <laughs> believe you... an anecdote you, if I've ever heard one. I can't believe you gave up the lifetime opportunity to be one of Santa's elves. Yeah, I mean, that was on our Would You Rather as one of the best things ever. I, w- I was actually paid a pittance. So <laughs> well, there you go. There um, you go. You had it all. Yeah. I uh, had a rather embarrassing visit to uh, Santa's Grotto, in keeping with our awkward sort of theme that we've got going on this show. <laughs> uh, I went there with my brother and my sister, and my brother, a bit of a rebel, always has been, always will be. Much like yourself. Much like myself. <laughs> you know, um, giving the law a run for its money. That's what I do. Uh, but no, we were at this, we were at this grotto, and. Uh, he decided that, uh, this year he decided that Santa Claus wasn't real and decided to embarrass the guy playing Santa Claus oh, by, no. by shouting at him and calling him an imposter and saying, oh, does, does Santa Claus wear a, wear a Rolex? Oh, does Santa, and he pulls up his sleeves and he pulled down the beard and, oh, it was, it was horrible. That was, a, it was, that was really lovely. Horrible. So, what did you do? I mean, did you just pretend you weren't with him? Or? <laughs> it was pretty difficult to disassociate ourselves with him because, uh, I mean, it was obvious that we were his siblings. It was just sort of, I think we just walked out in embarrassment. <laughs> oh. um, actually, speaking of embarrassing Christmas events, uh, does anyone remember from a couple of years ago that sort of winter wonderland that was set up? Uh, oh, yes. In the, the, the disaster. Oh, yeah, that? I remember that. That was, yeah. That was a sort of endless achievement for people who didn't shell out 40 quid. <laughs> there was essentially. What, some fake snow everywhere? Yeah. And then just like a shed, which was supposed Wasn't to be. like a reindeer that was just <laughs> really ill. Yeah. <laughs> it was a reindeer sort of <laughs> fighting for its life. Tied to a caravan. Yeah. Just... It was like a most d- d- dismal, depressing Christmas scene of all time. Uh, and that is what Christmas is for me now, That's year what on year. Is all about, yeah. isn't it? 
Yeah, well, shelling out 40 quid and being disappointed. I think um, it sort of capitalised British Christmases. Because, you know, <laughs> sort of America's got all the same sort of symbiology and yeah, sort of yeah, all yeah. the ridiculous reindeers and Santa Claus. Yeah, yeah. But they do it a lot better than yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they go yeah, full, yeah. full effort. Yeah. With us, we've got, I don't know, a, a tiny little Christmas tree shoved into a corner. <laughs> yeah. We may have some fairy lights, some but they don't really on. work. Yeah, they're rubbish. They're all out. The lights on the tree are always out. <laughs> it's it's just one disappointment after another, really, isn't it? Well, the Christmas has just got down, stubble and <laughs> sort of a red coat on. <laughs> yeah. Just a mat. Yeah. <laughs> all right, here's a present. <laughs> just one quality street. What do you want? The PlayStation. Um, here's <laughs> got you here's a, a balloon. <laughs> <laughs> with a face drawn onto it. I mean, I think what shows what's the most depressing about Christmas is the best bit is essentially falling unconscious. You know when you've, like, you've eaten all of your roast dinner, which is yeah, way yeah. too much for even three or four people, but <laughs> yeah. you've decided to consume all of it. There's some and statistic about calories you take in on Christmas Day. It's like 10,000 calories or something absurd. I mean, you're not even... The vast majority of stuff, like veg, like there's some vegetables, like yeah. you know parsnips yeah. and like broccoli, which most people don't eat ever. <laughs> yeah. And you think, oh well, it's Christmas, so Better I must eat a ton of it. Down. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no one eats turkey either. Yeah. Well, we all pretend, oh, we've got to have a load of turkey. <laughs> yeah. So we all eat a huge amount of food, and the best part of Christmas is when you feel incredibly bloated, you've drunk far too much as well, yeah, and you just sort of collapse on the so sofa in a mild. Stupor. And you just nod off. And you just nod off. That's that's the best part. <laughs> the best part of Christmas is not actually being awake for it. <laughs> but no, you remember when you were younger, getting up at like 7 a.m., 8 a.m., waking your parents up, going, oh, come on, it's Christmas. Now, I do, oh, I dread Christmas because it means I'm going to have to get up at some unreasonable hour, like mm. 9 or 10 o'clock. <laughs> that's just not acceptable in the holidays. Yeah, like as a kid, I used to get up at like seven and be like, "Oh, it's present." Yeah, but now I'm, I'm just like, saying, "It's just oh, it's oh, it's, a lie. it's midday. It's present. I've, yeah. got, I've got to get up to eat." What? Yeah, it's oh, not, not nah. Just <laughs> <laughs> running words by him before I we say know, them. I don't, I, I don't know what's going on anymore. Kill the audio, man. <laughs> Listeners, we've literally run out of things to say to you. We've been faces for radio. You've been our listeners. God save you. Have a wonderful <laughs> Have an Christmas. amazing Christmas. Thank you for listening. I'm James Evans. I'm Miles Poole. And I'm Alex Stratton-Lake. This is Boss of the People.